three, two, one. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, oh, it's great, isn't it? Hello there, everybody. I'm Ewan from RakesMC, and this is another Vaults video. I know we've been doing a lot of Vaults videos recently, but George is doing university sort of stuff right now. Uh, he's applying and all that sort of stuff, so it's a busy time for him and a reasonably busy time for me, so I have to do short sort of videos. Anyway, uh, I've got some bad news. The last time I did a Volks video, I was in uh, like where my submarine was. Um, unfortunately, that got destroyed by these pesky little testificates. They came running after me and they tried to kill me. They use a, a cluster nuke on my uh, submarine and there's a load over there. So they, they chased me into the desert and uh, now I'm hiding out from them. Uh, they're trying to kill me so I thought I'll, I'll be prepared when they come for me, you know. So let's show you, uh, hold on, I'm gonna show you how to deal with these little little pesky testificates that try and kill people. <laughs> um, so yeah, today I am going to do a video on rail guns. Oh, now that, just the, just the name is amazing. I will show you how to do it. It is very easy. Um, all you need is a uh, bat box. I've shown you how to like make a power power supply and bat box and all that sort of stuff. So if you forget how to do anything, just go to that video. I'll post one somewhere on the screen or in the link, uh, in the link in the description of. And uh, yeah, you can just watch, listen to me again um, because my voice is so sexy. No, uh, I'm only joking. But anyway, black is out of the input. Um, is the output? I mean. And uh, what you need is a step-down transformer because, as you can see on the advanced battery box, it says voltage 240. Now, this rail gun, I will show you, uh, not drop it, but show you, it says down here 220. So if you put 240 volts into a 220 uh, thing, uh, it will blow up. So what you need is a step-down transformer now I'm hopefully this is hopefully gonna work and be put in my little bunker uh, little bunker where I can see everything happening and all that sort of stuff so whoa okay <laughs> but as you can see just then it's gaining energy so you know it's right if it's if it's not gaining energy just try and switch around the uh, transformer that might work or anything like that so uh, if it doesn't work post it in the comments and I will try and sort it out for you um, so it, it says there when it gets enough energy uh, it will say ready to fire or something there's two types of bullets conventional bullet or antimatter bullet now antimatter bullet I think is slightly bigger than the conventional explosion but why not Let's test it out. <laughs> so, before we do that, actually, we need a red. We need a power, um, a power or redstone current or something. So, mount it at the thing that you want to explode. So, probably that. I'll, I'll do that just in case because there is a range to this, and I'm not quite sure what the range is. So, I'll I'll just do a tester. Um, yeah, I'll do a tester. Why? Oh, sorry about that. I'll do a tester. So, three, two, one. Oh, oh my goodness! Ah, oh, it's great, isn't it? Just because, um, it, it's just so cool. I mean, it's like a Mac cannon in a in Halo, where it's such a powerful shot and that noise. Oh, it's it's awesome. Mm. It's, it's great. Sorry for that weird voice. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, there you go. It's quite quite well. It's really quite a good explosion, I think that. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, so unless you want to see me cover this this up or uh, fire, you know, fire again, um, you can leave the video. But um, yeah, that that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed, um, just you know, leave a comment. That would be very helpful. <laughs> So leave a comment, subscribe, you know, share, anything like that. So I shall leave you with the antimatter explosion. So, goodbye. Crap. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that all again, don't worry. Three, two, one. Fire in the hole.